the El Centro Theater and the performance of Gwendolyn Yeo's Laughing With My Mouth Wide Open. Please take a moment to turn off all cell phones and pagers. In the event of an emergency, exits are located directly behind you through the main entrance and in front of you at the bottom of the steps and to the left. While outside the theater, we ask that you please keep speaking volumes at a minimum. Our neighbors will greatly appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy the show. Months later, we arrived in America. In Chinese, we call this land Mei Guo, meaning a beautiful country. I had just turned 11 years old. What the fuck do you guys think this is? <laughs> the Cambodian killing fields? I came here from Singapore on United Airlines. <laughs> And yes, thank you, I know I speak pretty good English because we speak English there. <laughs> Singapore was a former British colony and we are a bilingual society. Yes, it's true. Singapore is strict. You do get caned for chewing gum. But make no mistake, Singapore has the most pleasurable airline in the world. <laughs> Singapore Airlines. Singapore is a beautiful island full of delicious fruit and exotic women who love to have crazy Asian sex all the time. <laughs> we can shoot ping pong balls out of our twats. <laughs> and we love to walk on white men's backs. <laughs> we are a multicultural melting pot full of Indians, Malays, Chinese, and the occasional Filipino we bus in to do all of our cooking and cleaning. <laughs> All of our dialects and cultures blend together in a sort of pigeon-like language. We call ours Singlish. In American English, one would say, hey, how are you? In Singlish, one would say, hey, how are you doing, la? <laughs> now, in, sing uh, in American culture, you have this word, positivity, where if someone asks you, how are you doing, usually you're doing pretty good. In Singapore culture, we are negative <laughs> and constantly worried. <laughs> How am I doing? <laughs> okay, la. In this economy, I'm just glad I'm okay. <laughs> now, in American culture, people accept compliments. If someone complimented your hair, usually you'd say thank you. In Singapore culture, we are genetically unable to accept compliments. <laughs> so we deflect them with violent self-deprecation. If someone tried to compliment my mother's cooking, she'd say, my cooking is all right. I'm just glad my food doesn't poison anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're the compliment giver in Singapore? Well, we do it passive aggressively. <laughs> For example, your hair looks unusually clean this morning. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, <laughs> you look so skinny. <laughs> Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a kidney stone? <laughs> what if you're dying to brag but are culturally restricted to boast? We turn into victims. Oh, I got into both Harvard and Yale. How to decide? I am so stressed out, I am not eating, and now I am so skinny, and my legs look so long and thin. <laughs> but what if someone really is sick? 
In Chinese, we say, 吃下去, eat it, swallow it down. It is a Chinese way to bear our burdens in silence. We begin our journey where most people would assume an Asian person would begin. Math class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 11, and my math teacher is Mrs. Chin, who was constantly in a foul mood because their air conditioning system was never working. <laughs> FYI, Singapore on an average day is 115 degrees, not including humidity, which is why you see Asian people wearing these. <laughs> the reason why Asians wear long sleeve shirts to the beach is because the last thing we need is dark skin. God forbid we look like peasants who've been toiling the fields for too long. I personally wear this when I go hiking in Griffith Park. And I'll go up to people and say, Luke, I am your father. I do this for three or four minutes and I wonder why I'm still single. I digress. Where was I? Thank you. I'm 11 in Mrs. Chin's math class. It is so goddamn hot in here, you know. I have the results from yesterday's pop squeezes. Four of you idiotic girls got below 80 points. I will call these four stupid girls to stand up so they will be embarrassed, get a tutor, and never do it again. Oh, yeah, do you see this uh, sweat <laughs> coming to revolution? I tell you, a goddamn AC. Oh my goodness, speak and spell. I hope she doesn't call my name. I'm going to be so embarrassed, and mommy might skin me alive. You studied super hard for the test. That is what is important. Look at those beads of sweat on her hairy M-O-L-E mole. Miss Yo. Is that a giant red calculator in your head? You know calculators are not allowed in mathematics class. Oh, this isn't a calculator, Mrs. Chin. It's a speaking spell. It, it speaks a word and then I spell it. I don't want it to break in my backpack, so I put it on my desk where it's safe because last week... Did I ask for a long convoluted story? You are sucking up all the cool air. <laughs> Sit down. You are 88. Not bad. But your sister, who I taught in my class two years ago, always got perfect scores. <laughs> your parents will be very ashamed. Don't listen to her. A-D-E-I-G-H-D is a good score. Good? Good is far from perfect. We have to find a way to hide this from mommy. Maybe we can sneak past her while she's watering her plants. Sneaking around isn't really my style. Do you want me to take out your batteries? I am your loyal friend and at your service. That's more like it. Stupid, ugly, and fat. Go to your room! 
You need to slim down, no dinner for you. I can't do anything right. I'm stupid, ugly, and fat. I can't even swallow my tears. You are perfect. And you don't ever have to swallow your T-E-A-R-S tears mm -hmm. in front of me. Hey! Stupid girl! Fatty bonbon! Bon. Mm -hmm. You better not be trying to throw up in the bathroom, ah! Huh? There are no easy ways out! And get down here. Your father is home early for once. He wants everyone assembled in the living room now. My was an endocrinologist. He still wished Singapore was a British colony. He was an Englishman under yellow skin. To me, he was king. Oh, what a great day. A woman with a goiter the size of a bowling ball on her neck came in today. It was absolutely fascinating. I'm going to check on her at the hospital after dinner. Oh, but I made your favorite dessert. Red beet. Did Gwendolyn practice the piano this week? Yes, but not much improvement. Did she get a test score? I'm not sure. Well, is she still fat? <laughs> I can't believe that girl will neither your looks or my brains. Oh, what a waste of genetics. <laughs> well, since she obviously inherited your scholastic ineptitude, it is your responsibility to motivate her. I'm the last person who can understand academic struggle. <laughs> How about some good news? Where is Rosalind? Rosalind? Here I am, Father. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful day. <laughs> Rosalind, did you talk your class with midterms? Of course, Father. Good. Now that's brain power from the yo side of the family. I'm glad you're pleased, Father. <laughs> did you have a good day at work? Fine, fine. Where is my firstborn son, Nigel? <laughs> my brother Nigel might have been the first ever Singaporean cowboy. He just took to like in everything country. Picture it. Slanty eyes, big Chinese grin, and a ten gallon head. <laughs> How did they? Hello, Nigel. Hello. How was your day, son? Carrying on the family name with pride? Oh, sure, day. Now you are my firstborn and only son. <laughs> Keep those grades up. Do I make myself clear? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. Now, I have an announcement to make. Where on earth is a fatty bon bon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I, I was in the bathroom. Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a job offer from San Francisco, California. They're interested in my thyroid research. And I am interested in their educational system for the three of you. For all three of us, Father. But I'm the poster child for the successful Singaporean student. <laughs> <laughs> you, Rosalind, will get into the top university here. But I want the guarantee for all my children. <laughs> what would it look like if your brother or sister ended up in a junior college or <laughs> polytechnic school? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> One of the rare positives about America are its outstanding collegiate institutions. We'll make do with their private Catholic prep schools. But then all three of you will be on your way to UC Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, medical school. <laughs> and then from there, become the doctors you deserve to be. We leave next Tuesday. 